What's up guys, welcome back to The Educated Barfly. Today we are partnered up with Botanic Tonics to bring you three non-alcoholic cocktails featuring their feel-free natural spirits alternative. I told y'all we'd be doing a lot more non-alcoholic recipes on this channel, as well as exploring some of the best alternatives to booze we can find to make non-alcoholic cocktails, and that's what we're doing today. Botanic Tonics was founded by J.W. Ross. J.W. Ross is a lifelong innovator and the inventor of Botanic Tonics feel-free plant-based tonic. He started his career as a Texas oilman who experienced immense corporate success, but with that success came some health issues, and he decided to purge alcohol from his life and completely pivot his career. He went on life-changing trips to the South Pacific and Southeast Asia, where he discovered botanical plant medicines whose ingredients have been used socially and in wellness for centuries. After discovering these plants, he decided to uh, dedicate his life to finding an herbal solution that would replace the alcohol that he was missing and also give him a little lift. Uh, that had a positive impact on his life. He home tested many concoctions, finally finding the perfect recipe that turned into what we see here, which is the feel-free tonic recipe. Botanic Tonics offers a range of plant-based supplements and tonics to promote wellness and a positive state of mind. It's crafted with two plants, kava and kratom. Kava is a plant found in, in the South Pacific. It is in the pepper family, and its name means bitter in the Tongan language. The kava in feel-free was sourced uh, in the Pacific Island nation of Vanadu, and it is kava root extract that's in the actual product. Kratom is a plant found in Southeast Asia and is known to increase stamina, energy, and focus. It also bears mentioning that kratom in large doses can be harmful, but if consumed in small quantities, it's quite safe. Feel Free uses a 10 to 1 kava to kratom ratio to make sure that you can use this product safely. All right, guys, that's all that I know about these products. I, I've developed three cocktails to make with the Feel Free. We're going to do that now. And the first one is going to be called the Wellness Highball. So first things first, we're going to grab our tin here and we are going to do three quarters of an ounce of lime juice into our tin, half an ounce of ginger syrup, and then we're going to do half an ounce of passion fruit puree. And this is the puree, not syrup, so this should be tart, not sweet. And then we're going to grab our feel free and we're going to do just the entire bottle into it like so. You're going to need a highball glass. We're gonna put some ice into the tin. Give this a nice shake. And then before we put any ice into it, we're just gonna strain it into the bottom of our glass here. And then we're gonna take some ginger beer. And we're just gonna lengthen it just a little bit. Make sure that we get the effervescence throughout the cocktail. And then we're gonna add some ice in here. And then we're just gonna top it up. And we're gonna give it a lime twist. We're gonna manicure the twist. You get that lime right up front. You get a little bit of that passion fruit kind of making it a little bit more tart. The reason why you need all that tartness is because we have a little bit of the ginger syrup bringing in that spice because the Feel Free has its own natural sweetness to it. Um, and we're trying to balance all of those out. So this is a little bit tart, it's a little bit spicy, and then you can really taste the kava and the kratom, which has this very particular flavor to it. It has a nice botanical feel, a little bit bitter. So there it is, the Wellness Highball. The next cocktail we're doing is called the Century Park East, and it is inspired by the Queen's Park Swizzle. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take a tin here, and we are gonna do three quarters of an ounce of lime juice half an ounce of simple syrup. We're gonna just do a couple of dashes of this uh, Bitter Cube Jamaican number two bitters, which is, um, you know, kind of grapefruit and flavor. And we're just gonna use this non-alcoholic cane spirit, two ounces. I'm gonna grab a chilled highball. We're actually using a nine ounce highball for this particular cocktail. And I got a little, uh, like a crushed pebble ice here. And we're just gonna do a skosh of ice into our tin and whip shake it. Then we're just gonna do an ungated pour into our glass like so. I'm gonna fill the rest with crushed ice. And you wanna make sure to push that ice to the bottom. And then we're gonna take our feel free here and we're gonna do three quarter ounce over the top. So it just rests on the top there. Put a little snow cap on top like so. And then I'm just gonna garnish with a little lemon balm sprig here. 
which is a tea light leaf, very similar to mint, but giving off a nice light lemon flavor. Now, obviously we've layered for presentation, but then when you go to drink it, you're gonna mix the feel free in. Good taste. So this is nice and light. It's got everything that you want. It's basically like a mojito variation. You know, you've got that lime, you've got that simple syrup, balancing the lime out. We used a little bit more lime, quarter more ounce of lime. So it's got a little bit of that tartness. Uh, you get a tiny bit of this like cane sugar flavor from the rum alternative that we're using. And then that kind of botanical sweet-ish bitterness, um, both from the bitters and then also from the feel free. Um, what's nice about this is that the feel free will be on sort of a time release and it will sink into the cocktail as you drink it, uh, giving you a nice even flavor throughout. And then of course you've got that nice kind of herbal lemon scent from the lemon balm. So there it is guys, the Century Park East. And the last cocktail I'm doing today is called a healthy little fix. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our tin here. Again, we're gonna do three quarters of an ounce of lime juice into our tin half an ounce of simple syrup, one ounce of fresh apple juice. Uh, I used Granny Smith apples and they're a little oxidized, but that's fine. I don't really mind. A full two ounces of our feel free. Pour it into our tin like so. Add some ice. Give it a nice shake. And then we're gonna give it a nice strain. And again, for this one, we're gonna do a nice lime twist going. Voila, a healthy little fix. I really feel like the apple flavor goes well with the kava and the kratom. Uh, you get the tartness of the lime. Again, it's balanced out by simple syrup. Uh, and then you get that tart, kind of fall-ish apple flavor, uh, and then devolving into that kava and the kratom and a little bit of sweetness. Yeah, it's just it's like, you know, it's just like a really good drink to just like, you know, get your healthy little boost for the day. So there it is, the healthy little fix. All right, guys, there it is, three non-alcoholic cocktails that'll give you a little natural boost, maybe replace that daily cup of coffee. So feel free to head on over to botanictonics.com and for a special price for our viewers, use the code on the screen. And I'll see you guys in another time.